Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla, and this is The State of Health. Today, we're diving into a bit of an exciting study which tried to answer the million-dollar question. Does using a video laryngoscope increase the chances of successful tracheal intubation on the first attempt compared to the good old direct laryngoscope? I know, it's a mouthful, but let's break it down. So, imagine you're critically ill, like really sick. You're rushed into the emergency room or the ICU. The doctor tells you that you need a tube down your trachea to help you breathe. That's what we call tracheal intubation. Now, there are two ways to do this. One, using a direct laryngoscope, which is like old school. Or two, using a video laryngoscope, which is like leveling up with a bit of tech. To find out which method rules, doctors ran a study across 17 emergency departments and ICUs. They divided critically ill adults who needed a tube down their throats into two groups. One group got the direct laryngoscope treatment, and the other got to be in the video laryngoscope group. Results? Well, the study had to be stopped because it was very clear who the winner was. Out of 1,417 patients that were part of the study, 85.1% of those who got the video laryngoscope treatment got it right on the first attempt. That's 600 out of 705. Compare that to the direct laryngoscope group, where the first try was successful in only 70.8% of patients, which is 504 out of 712. As for severe complications like severe hypoxia, severe hypotension, new or increased vasopressor use, cardiac arrest, or death, there wasn't much difference between the two groups. Also, the safety outcomes, including esophageal intubation, injury to the teeth, and aspiration, were pretty much the same in both groups. So what's the takeaway? If you're ever in a situation where you need a tube down your throat, you might be better off if your doctor used a video laryngoscope. Not only does it have a cool tech vibe, but it also increases your chances of nailing it on the first try. All right, folks, before you rush off, do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you heard today and want more, jump over to your favorite podcatcher of choice and check out the State of Health podcast by MedSchool. We're chatting up all things health and the latest medical stuff. Hit subscribe, leave a review if you feel like it, and join our health-loving crew. Trust me, you won't regret it. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. Until then, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close. Remember, curiosity may have killed the cat, but it made the doctor.